In this video we're going to look at mixing up some skin tones and putting some colours on the canvas. I've laid out here a number of colours, probably more than you would need normally, uh, but it will give us um, a bit more to talk about in terms of hot and cold colours and different saturated colour and desaturated colour. Uh, you're going to need more white than everything else and uh, I think in general you could probably get away with just using three colours with white and either black or the Payne's grey. So it might seem a bit strange but we've got a blue here as well so I've got cobalt blue or similar I've got Indian red which is a, a kind of rusty red. Titanium white, you can use zinc white, which is much more transparent. Burnt umber, which is a warm brown. Raw sienna, this one's actually got a little bit of white in it. Raw sienna can be much more transparent. Something like a cadmium red. And then I've got this Mars violet. It's actually called Caput Malton in the tube I'm using. So that's a colder red than the Indian red we were looking at just then. So you can see that Indian red has is, is got a, a warmer kind of tone to it. That's the Mars violet. And Payne's grey, which I prefer to, to using than black because the black tends to muddy the colour whereas you can desaturate the colour with the paint grey and make it slightly darker without affecting the colour so much and then a litter and crimson so a litter and crimson will give you a slightly sharper pink than the cadmium red which will give you a, a sort of a warmer glowing pink I've made five little heaps of white there, so it means that we can mix up a range of skin tones and we can compare them. So we'll start with a bit of cadmium red and raw sienna. Maybe a bit more raw sienna. So that's quite a sort of warm, quite a strong peachy colour. Then we're going to use some of the Mars Violet in this one. It's got a kind of pink quality, but it's much colder than, than this colour we've just used. We've just mixed up. So you can see it's much colder. Maybe a bit more, because it's quite hard to see that colour in, the, in this light, maybe. Uh, then we're going to use the burnt umber and then the Indian red the thing with mixing colour is If you have four or five colours to create these flesh tones, you need to just experiment with mixing them together. So the next thing we might think about these five colours that we're going to use is think about which ones you want to be the light tones and which the darker ones. So I'm going to make this Mars violet a bit darker with a bit more pigment and a bit more of the Payne's grey. 
So we've got a richer, darker colour there. So that really contrasts a lot now with that peach. We'll put more burnt umber in there. Again, so that's going to be darker. Uh, we'll leave the Indian red pink quite light, but maybe just add a bit more. So it'll just be a bit darker than the peach colour. And finally the grey. We might leave that quite light so that we've got two light tones. We've got this light grey and at the end we've got the peach. And then we've got three slightly darker tones in the middle. Uh, so this is my drawing of the figure that's right in the centre and front of this composition. So that's some of the rest of the canvas. And I'm going to have a go at painting the face with the same colours that I've mixed up before.